Okay, family, here we go again. Just had to move because I was too cold in that other place, but at least here's in the sun. But uh, same street, it's just a bit further down, you can see. But I had to move a bit further because there's somebody over there, down that way, um, singing as you can hear. So here we go, I'm just going to get straight back into it. Love you all. Are you ready for the Lord Jesus Christ? He's coming any moment. I hope you have believed. It's not about religion. It's not about anything you must do apart from believe on what Jesus Christ has already done. Jesus paid the penalty in full on the cross for all our sin, past, present and future sin. He was buried. He rose again from the dead on the third day. Believe that in your heart. Call upon Jesus and you'll be saved. I would do it now if I was you guys because uh, we're not promised tomorrow. It's obvious that Jesus Christ is coming. Just, you can just see, you can see the tribulation about to begin. Uh, the apocalypse is about to begin at any point. I'll just move this back here, guys, so you can see me a bit better. Like that, so I don't have to move too much. Right, here we go. Are you ready, Loretta? of the end of this age Jesus Christ is about to come for his church just like he promised and if you're not saved we urge you to get saved while you still can while you still have breath inside you by believing the good news we're not talking about getting religious we're not even talking about going to church every Sunday we're talking about having some faith on the Son of God, Jesus Christ. For all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. And the wages, the penalty of sin is death. But the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For everybody that believes, no matter who you are and no matter what you have done. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ because he has promised that he will not turn anybody away who comes to him. God is only asking one thing of you and that is that you believe, believe the good news that there is indeed everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It doesn't matter what you've done, turn to the Lord Jesus while you still can. The Lord Jesus was crucified on that cross to pay the penalty in full for our past, present and future sins and he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures and if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead you will be saved with everlasting life that's it, one thing only believe, believe but Jesus made it very clear. He said, except you repent, except you change your mind and believe, then you will perish. That means you'll land in hell if you reject the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, and what he did for us on that cross. Jesus was sacrificed on that cross to pay the penalty in full for all our sins according to the scriptures. He rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. That is the blessed gospel. And when you believe it in your heart, and you call upon Jesus, you will be saved. But Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me and of my words in this wicked and adulterous generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. Jesus Christ has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Stop listening to the devil. The devil 
He wants to take your soul down to hell. Jesus wants to take your soul up to heaven. But it's down to you. You have free will. You have a choice. You can either accept the free gift of God or you can reject him. Repent. Change your mind. Believe the good news that there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everybody that believes. No matter what you have done, Jesus has promised that he will never turn anyone away who comes to him in truth. If any man says that he has no sin, he deceives himself and the truth is not in him. If we confess our sin, Jesus is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make God a liar and his word and his truth are not in us. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and unto our God for he will abundantly pardon. There is no other name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved. Only Jesus Christ who said, I am the way, the truth and the life. If you're not saved, please get saved. Because if, if you reject the Lord Jesus Christ, you won't be saved and you won't be granted a place in heaven. You won't be granted everlasting life and you will find yourself in hell. Do not be one of the many, many, many who only find out how real hell is when you land there. Repent, change your mind and believe the good news. Repent from your unbelief and believe the good news. Believe the gospel and you will be saved. The gospel is that Jesus died for all our sins according to the scriptures and he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. But with the heart man believes and is justified and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation that if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and you're not ashamed or afraid to say, I need you, Lord Jesus, come into my life. And you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You will be saved. Lay hold of your salvation. There's a heaven and there's a hell. And your decision to accept or reject the Lord Jesus Christ will determine which one you spend eternity in. Please think about what I'm saying. This life is but for a moment. Eternity is forever and ever and ever. Make sure, make sure therefore you know that you're going to heaven and not down to hell. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Lay hold of your salvation and your eternal security by believing the good news that there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ for everybody that believes no matter who you are and no matter what you've done turn to the Lord Jesus because he's promised that he will not turn anyone away who comes to him in truth there's only one thing required of you for you to inherit everlasting life and that is believe just one thing believe yes Jesus died on the cross for me. He died for all my sin. Yes, I believe in my heart that God raised him to life on the third day. Come into my life, Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. But Jesus made it very clear. The Lord Jesus said, except you repent and change your mind and believe, then you will perish. So many people only find out how real hell is when they land there. And then it's too late. Then it's too late. Once you're in hell, you're in there for eternity. God doesn't want that. The Bible says that God wants all to be saved. And all can be saved. No matter who you are. And no matter what you have done. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Be a whosoever. Stop gambling with your soul. Stop gambling. Stop gambling that there's no heaven, that there's no hell. 
Stop taking the gamble that the Lord Jesus Christ isn't who he says he is. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. He shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief, Satan, the God of this age, he comes only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And he's whispering in the ears of mankind. The devil's whispering in your ear. Is God really true? Is Jesus Christ really the only way I'm going to be saved? Is there really a heaven? And is there really a hell? Stop listening to the devil. Lay hold of your salvation. Get on board the ark of salvation by believing the good news. Because time is running out. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming for his church. And if you haven't believed on him, you're going to be left behind to face the apocalypse, to face the great tribulation. Jesus Christ said it would be a time so terrible that there's never been a time like it and there never will be again. And if God didn't shorten the days of the great tribulation apocalypse, then no man would survive. You don't want to be here for what is coming upon this world. And you don't have to be. There's only one thing you need to do to get saved, and that's believe on the Lord Jesus. Believe, yes, Jesus was indeed sacrificed on that cross to pay the penalty in full for our past, present, and future sin. Yes, the Lord Jesus rose again from the dead on the third day according to the Scriptures. And if you confess Jesus as Lord, and you're not ashamed nor afraid to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Everlasting life. Heaven or hell, you have the choice. And there's only one name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved. And it is the Lord Jesus Christ. Lay hold of your salvation and your eternal security. Stop taking the gamble. Stop gambling with your soul. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming for his church. The church is the body of believers. Every single born-again believer will be taken up in the twinkling of the eye. There'll be suddenly a great vanishing across the face of the whole world when the Lord Jesus descends and takes all believers up into heaven in the rapture. Don't be left behind because you rejected the love of the truth. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. If you're not saved, get saved. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Reject the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll land in hell for eternity. staying here. Yes, we have every right to be here. We have every right to be here. You're telling me that I should move. I'm not moving because people's souls are at stake. There's a heaven and there's a hell. It's not that loud. No, it isn't. It's not that loud. I'll turn it down a fraction, but we are allowed to be here. Okay? Have you believed the gospel? Well, if you haven't, then you'll end up in hell for eternity. You won't be saying that when you're in outer darkness, weeping and wailing and gnashing your teeth because you rejected the love of the truth. Yeah, and you're taking my time. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Lay hold of your salvation. Believe the gospel because Jesus said, except you repent and believe, then you will perish. 
which means you'll certainly land in hell if you reject the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, and what he did for us on the cross. Do not reject the Lord Jesus Christ. He wants all to be saved. The Bible says that God wants all to be saved. All can be saved, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Be a whosoever. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe what he did for us on the cross. Because time is running out. This world is in for a rude, rude awakening. A very rude awakening. I can't believe how the devil has managed to blind you all to the truth. God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Be a whosoever. Because like I said, time's running out. This world is about to witness a great vanishing, a sudden disappearance of all Christians. The rapture of the church is upon us at any moment. And if you haven't accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, then we urge you to do so now. Before it's too late and you find yourself left behind to face the great tribulation apocalypse. A time so terrible, Jesus said there's never been a time like it and there never will be again. to that lady. I just stood my ground. Maybe she came out to hear the gospel. Oh, I'll upload this one now. I didn't realize it was 17 minutes. So can you hear that guy down there? Yeah, it's not, it's not the volume. It's the message. How do you guys know? Right, I'm going to upload this. God bless you. Please pray for me, guys. Thank you.